In this video, I'm going to go over the top items I'd recommend you take for your trip to Cuba. Follow along. Hey, what's the man right now? You're watching DC Born Rob on YouTube. It's time to travel. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is Rob Christian, also known as DC Born Rob. DC Rob, Rob, I answer to them all. Thank you guys for watching. In this video, I'm going to go over the top items that I'd recommend you take for your trip to Cuba. It's going to be a long list. I think I have about 15 things and I, and I got it down to 15. I'd probably say 20 or 25 uh, things that I would not travel without. But here's some things that I'm going to recommend to make your trip easier. Let's jump into the list now. Now, right really quick before I begin, if you ever get any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos, and like. Like helps the YouTube algorithm. The more you hit like, the more people get to see these videos. Okay, I'm going to start with number 15. It may seem a little strange to some of you guys as far as why I put some of these on it, but I'll give you a brief description in the meantime. So first, toilet paper. A half a roll of toilet paper. I use Charmin Extra Salt. They also have extra extra strong. I don't get what you got going on where you need something extra strong, but extra soft is something I'm going to need. So what I do is before I travel, and now I'm just going to keep the same roll, I take half a roll. When I get down to half a roll, I just keep that piece and I store it for when I'm going to travel again to Central or South America because you're not going to find any soft toilet paper. And keep in mind, most of these places, just like Cuba, you're going to have to pour, I'm sorry, pour, you're going to have to put that paper in a trash can next to the toilet, not in the toilet. That's right. So if you're not familiar with that, get ready. And it's not just there. It's mostly uh, most of the Central and South American countries, too, that I've been to anyway. So next, I'm going to say bring a couple of sheets of blank white paper. Now, I would say a pad. You can bring a pad but that's going to take up room. Just take a couple of sheets of white paper, fold it up into a small piece, fold it, fold it, fold it to it small and stick it in there. Because numerous times I wanted to write something down and I could not find a piece of paper. No Airbnb or hotel room that I've been in, I have seen, you know, a little pad. You're not at the Sheraton, so you're not going to get that little piece of paper and an ink pen. I'll, I always bring my own pen, so I do have ink pens, and you know I got my protection ink pen also, but I need paper. I ended up writing on a couple of back of business cards, and, you know, yes, you can take a picture of some things, but if you only have one phone, instead of switching back and forth between what's that, what's that number? Because you're going to be plugging in numbers for the card for the phone, which is going to be in another video, a uh, three, eight, two, nine, four, six, four, one, two, eight, 12. Uh, yeah. Two, eight, 12. Then you're going to have six, four, two. And you got to remember all these numbers. You're not going to want to go back and forth. Just write it down and you'll have it that way. Okay. Okay. So not always a picture will help you with that. So just a couple of sheets of paper. Next napkins okay that may seem again some of these may seem trivial but when you eat out and you eat a lot with your hands a taco that's leaking all over the place and you have no no napkin most of the time it's the fork is rope wrapped up in a little napkin that's like the size of a square a square the size of a toilet piece of toilet paper now i don't know what you can wipe with that i barely get my fingers wet with that by the time i do it one time it's in the little ball so uh bring a couple of <laughs> just uh you know Paper towels, fold them over into little squares and take it with you because I personally like to wipe my hands when I'm eating out and there may be something to spill that you're going to wipe it up. I mean, it, it just, you're not going to find any real napkin, not even the cheapest napkin here. It's going to be non-existent there. Okay. The next one I'd say would be a pocket fan. You know, the a little electronic or should I say battery operated fans that you can hold in front of you. The heat is for real. Should I say the... The humidity is for real. And at times in the morning, you know, before 12 or maybe after six or seven at night, a fan will help by blowing and moving the air around. You know, I got back in Houston. I rode around Houston yesterday. It was 109, but it's a different kind of heat. And I don't walk around in this heat either. There you're going to have to walk around um, and you're going to be out in the heat. And if you're sitting at a table, maybe that little bit of fan uh, and that little bit of fan may blow enough turbulence to keep the flies away because there's something else you're going to have to deal with, too. So just a little, small, battery-operated pocket fan. A little, get a little teeny, tiny one. Um, the next one, I'd say shorts. Make sure you don't bring jeans. They're going to serve you absolutely no purpose unless you're going to go work in a coal mine somewhere. You need shorts. You need gym shorts, dress shorts, khaki shorts, whatever kind of shorts, but you're going to need some shorts. Um, make sure you pack shorts. Simple as that. 
um, and short sleeve shirts and things that are easy to dry too. And I'm going to go over that more in other videos as well. Next, I'm going to say download some movies. I have Amazon Prime. I can download movies to my phone and I can watch it wherever. So I have a series on uh, the Civil War that I've been watching. I watched through the entire trip at seven episodes. So it's on my phone um, because you're not always going to get uh, television channels. You may get two or three channels. Uh, you may get music and you may get all that's in Spanish. One of our Airbnbs was phenomenal. It's at Adeno Beach. They had some phenomenal channels. I'm clicking around, clicking around, finally got the one. I didn't even care with CNN. It was news. And unfortunately, as soon as I got it, I heard that six people have been shot on the fourth. And that was the fourth when we got there. Um, anyway, um, just make sure you can download that and some music and take a little Bluetooth speaker if you can also. But download something to your cell phone that you can watch later um, and make sure you have head headphones also. OK, next is going to be a big one for me, I think. And that's some little vitamin C packs. Um, you're going to be hard pressed to find juice or should I say orange juice. You can find lemon juice. You can find guava juice. You can find whatever the pink one is. I, I forgot the name of it, but it's really thick and pulpy. You normally don't mix that with your vodka. Um, somehow I think they made me some orange juice out of something. I don't know if they was using tang or something, but it ended up in a blender. And I'm wondering, how, they said it was fresh, but why is it in a blender? I don't know. I didn't see them making it, but. Um, I would say have some little vitamin C packs. I carry those with me and they're good before you fly anyway. All you need is a small bottle of cold water, pour it in the cold water, boom. And you have vitamin C. It also comes with, I think, zinc and mag mag magnesium in it as well. So just pick and choose which ones are going to be better for you. They're good handouts to give away too. And they do need a lot down there. Okay, so that's vitamin C packets because, again, there's no OJ. Okay, here's the next one. A small bottle of hot sauce. You know, the little teeny, tiny Tabasco sauce would have saved my life. Um, even the uh, the smallest, which is about this big, of uh, Louisiana hot sauce. I, I would have killed for some Louisiana hot sauce. Almost every place we went to went to, and we ate, I asked, uh, tiene salsa picante? No salsa, no tomato and onion, no salsa. You're not going to get any pico, um, no hot, mild sauce. They put it on the table. Chances are you're going to get uh, oil. And vinegar, I think that's what it was, acetate or aciate, somebody else tell me. Um, but it's oil, had no taste to it. I taste, put it on my finger and taste it, had no taste. And uh, so there's no spice. Um, and then salt and pepper. So I would say take a little bottle of hot sauce. In other words, all of these things I'm telling you, I'm not going to go back without. Most of these I had, but some of these I didn't. We On our fourth or fifth day in Veradero Beach, we found finally found a place that uh, sold some sort of food item, like a convenience store. Not a lot on the shelf. I'll show you some of the videos. All the videos are coming later. Uh, not a lot on the shelf, but we found a, a bottle of hot sauce. It was actually good. We as soon as, as soon as we left there, we went and grabbed something to eat, left it on the table. Had to go all the way back and buy another bottle. And it was like a dollar and thirty or something like that. So, but just bring it with you so that you don't have to lug around a big jug of hot sauce, even if you can buy it, because things are sparse. There is a food shortage. And when I say there's a food shortage, I mean there is a food shortage for you too as a visitor. So don't mistake some of my videos where I'm eating lobster and so on. It's not like that in every place, okay? Um, so, okay, that was a small bottle of hot sauce. Next one, I'd say bring some backup toothbrushes. Make sure you have a toothbrush, but bring a backup one also, and make sure you have toothpaste and a backup toothpaste, uh, toothpaste too. You know, you can get those little packs in Walmart for, or the dollar store is not even a dollar store anymore. So maybe $1.25, you can get... Uh, the small uh, toothpaste and a brush, carry two or three of those with you. I'd also suggest if you're going to be traveling for a long period of time, like I had to sleep in my car that first night at the airport in, in Miami, get the, the small ones, the little brushes that have the toothpaste inside it already. So at least you can scrub up and get yourself together and pick your teeth a little bit uh, as you move along. Um, I just like to brush my teeth. Maybe that's me. I'm not over brushing, but and make sure you have a backup one because if you lose it, I'm telling you, you cannot go to the corner and buy this stuff. There is no Walmart. There's no CVS. There's no dollar store. You're going to be short up brushing your teeth with a, I mean, you don't even have napkins. So brushing your teeth, I don't know. You're lucky. Ah, you can't even find bacon soda. So I'm telling you, take this stuff with you because you're not going to find it. And if it is, it's going to be like a scavenger hunt. So extra tooth brushes and toothpaste. The next one, and this is uh, number six. Suntan lotion. I'm counting down. A suntan lotion. Make sure you have suntan lotion. Just a little teeny bottle. I don't know if it's two ounces, ounce and a half or something, but 
It was uh, needed. I, I forgot to use it most of the time. I, I didn't peel. I thought I would burn and peel, but I definitely got darker during this trip. Um, but so that you don't burn or if you have sensitive skin, make sure that you have suntan lotion. OK, just a little small bottle should get you by. I'm not sure about SPF and all that stuff because I don't really use it that much. Um, but if you have sensitive skin, you're going to need it. OK, the next one um, is number five. Now, my top four are things I'm going to say don't go without it. But this fifth one is one that's on the borderline, too. I would say take a bar of soap, find you a bar of zest, bar, bar of ivory soap. And take that with you. Um, you can also take a washcloth too, because most places don't have a washcloth. When I'm talking about the, the one that you wash yourself, they'll have a towel. But otherwise, you'll have a little teeny piece of soap that's, I don't even know if you can see that, that's like an inch around it. And I'm a grown man. I, you know, that little thing, get a bar of soap. Take your own bar of soap. Like I said, zest ivory or something like that. You can put that in a plastic bag and it'll stay your entire trip. You won't use it your entire trip. Uh, but take it with you. Take a washcloth with you. I bought the washcloths on my last trip, and I think we were in Mexico, and I bought a couple of them out in Mexico. I could buy some stuff. This is one place. I'm talking Cuba, y'all. You, you you don't have access to a lot. It's 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 a struggle. So make sure you have a bar. So I would say this is one that's needed, especially if you're a grown man. I don't know if women's hands are small, and you can work with that little teeny bar. All the bars are so small and flat that you it breaks in half. Now you got a half a piece of that that you're trying to scrub yourself with. Okay, so, and you don't have a washcloth to, to suds it up. So washcloth, bar soap, there you go. That's number five. Now the next four, again, I say these are my top, this is a total of 15, but I'm gonna say these four do not go to Cuba without. Then the, the number four would be bug spray. Bug spray and, uh, well, I what I use to, uh, after I've been bit, it's called uh, Afterbite. It's just a little squeeze jar, a little oil, a little ointment, and you can put it on because I got eating those first two days. Man, I had some some uh, bugs, not bug spray, but I had the little patches that I could wipe on myself. And, and of, co of course, I'm trying to be natural and so on and not use the DEET, although I know the DEET works. I tried to use the other ones. I don't know. The, 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 the flies down there like this stuff, like it was food. I got eaten alive with that on me, so I never use it again. I still kept getting eaten anyway, but not as much as when I put that natural bug spray on. So take the little gun. You know, you can get a little gun that you, you know, squirt, little squirt thing like they have the sanitizer pens now and squirt it and put it all over. I get whatever deet you can because it's no joke and you're not going to want to get eaten up. So bug spray and afterbite. There's different brands for afterbite, but the one I use is afterbite because if you get eaten, you will be itching and scratching and you just put a little bit on and you put it on each one. And I had, I don't know, 10, 15 at, at any given time. So uh, afterbite and bug spray. Okay. That's number four. Number three, these top three are definitely necessities. Do not go without it. And this one is number three is snacks. That may sound simple, but just, uh, you know, granola bars, uh, little packages of nuts and 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 uh, grapes. Grapes. I mean, that last morning was rough for me. I I had one box of raisins, and I didn't even go when I got to the airport. I didn't even go to the airport and look for food because I knew it was nothing there. Um, so it, you know, it is what it is. So I took my raisins. I eat half a bottle of raisins, thinking I can fly <laughs> and get to Miami. Once I'm in Miami, I got everything I want. Then it's you know, you're back to reality. But while you're there. It's behind the times. You're not going to find snacks. You're not going to find candy. Take some Mentos, some candy, little bags of nuts. We found nuts. Uh, I, I thought uh, uh, Catherine hit the lotto when she saw the nuts. We were in there looking for snacks and cookies and nothing. And she saw the nuts and, oh, my God, just went crazy. She ran down the aisle of the little convenience store that had cereal, 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 the whole aisle. You know, I guess all they have is cereal. So they put it down the entire aisle. And she saw two bags at the end. So she ran down the aisle thinking it was potato chips and it was two more bags of cereal that just weren't in the box. So there's no snacks. You will need some snacks. Take snacks. If I'm not emphasizing this enough, take some snacks. Take candy that's going to last the entire trip because another comment that Catherine made was, and she's from the Philippines, and they struggled when they were young with food and finding food and so on. But this is, she said, this is the first time as an adult that she's actually been hungry. 
you know, to the point we're hungry where we can't find food. And if we do find food, it's not open. Or if, we, or if it's open, they don't take our money. They take the other money. They take the CUP. But you can't use your car because we're Americans. And it, it's just bring snacks. OK, I can't emphasize number three enough. Bring snacks. I'm diabetic. I need to eat. I need some candy. I need some hard candy. Hard candy is going to be good because it doesn't melt. Don't take any toffee or chocolate or anything like that. Get some hard granola bars, which I know are dry and dusty, but there's going to be a time where you're going to need sustenance. And that's that's what this is about. I lost weight this trip. So did she um, because of the walking, the heat and uh, just the, the lack of food, the lack of the snack. So make sure you take snacks. Snacks is number three. Cookies, whatever. Take it down. And uh, number two, and this is a big one. And don't go without this one. Do not go without number two. Number two is patience. Do not go without packing your patience. You will be standing in line. You will be waiting at doors. People won't rush to greet you. Service is not always the same. Some places for the, for the most part, and we had some phenomenal service, um, but not every place. And you will wait. Once you see this lines, lines, everywhere lines. Let me tell you, waiting for the bus, waiting for food, standing in line for bread. Um, there's a separate black mar market uh, community going on. I mean, they're doing the best they can to survive. Uh, they've made it for 60 years. This stuff's been going on since I've been alive. Um, been going on for 60 years, but the past two years with COVID has definitely put a hurt on them. So um, help by all means help. And I'm going to go over that in future videos. Please go down. Please spend your money. Please take medication. Please take vitamins. Please take aspirins. But for you, pack your patience. That's number two. And then number one, this should be simple, money. Don't go without money. If you think you brought enough, bring some more. I mean, we're not, I'm not the richest person. Well, I'm not rich at all. I'm not affluent. I'm not anything. I'm getting by. Catherine's doing way better than me. But between the two of us, we had money here. I know I had money that I couldn't access. I had a payday and couldn't access it. Your credit cards are dead when you land. Um, you're going to be off the grid, really off the grid. I mean, the phone service, again, I'm going to touch on that in a separate uh, video. I'm also going to touch on the money situation in a separate video because they, I think they need their own videos dedicated to them. But when it comes to money, make sure you have USD and you have the euro. And if you hear them saying it, it's not pronounced euro, it's euro. So if you hear, oh, what do you take, euro? Um, so make sure you have, and I won't even go over why, because it's a whole complex reason, you know, like the, the term that said, trying to describe their situation is, it's complicated. It, the money situation is complicated. There's no more CUC, if you're familiar with that. I had a few people comment. It's only the CUP, but it's only taken in some places. The U.S. dollar is not taken. The only people that took our U.S. dollar was the, uh, the ride from the airport and back and then the uh, old time car ride. Other than that, uh, nobody took it. They, the tax, my first two collectivo, collectivos were supposed to be in USD. Uh, and by all means, you need a guide too. And I'm going to hook you up with a guide. Uh, do not go without, man, he made my life. I would not go. I mean, he had everything arranged, pickups, drop offs, all this stuff. So it didn't have to be concerned, especially when you don't have connectivity and you don't have Wi-Fi and you don't have phone service. You need to know that somebody's got your back. Somebody there with a working phone that speaks a language, too. So I'm going to hook you up uh, with my guy, uh, Santi, once once this is I get into the videos. Um, but make sure you have that guy. But bring enough money, bring enough cash, bring enough USD because you can exchange the cash. You're going to exchange your cash for CUP. If you saw my video, my quick one with all the money laid out on the table, you're going to try to get some high bills if you can, but it's going to be bought on the black market. The black market is 90 to 1. If you buy it at the airport, I'm telling you now, the government rate is 25 to 1. So you're going to lose. OK, and you're going to run into a few issues again that I'm going to touch on in future videos. But just make sure you have enough cash. And when you think you have enough cash, bring another 500. Bring another thousand, stash it in a sock, just say you're not going to touch it. Um, but please don't lose it. Um, but by all means, you will need that. I mean, that last day we were exchanging this for that and that for this because you have the CUP and you're going to get back to the airport to leave and they don't even take the CUP in the airport. When I said it was nuts, to me, it's nuts. Um, it's just mayhem. It's just confusing. I mean, it, it is what it is. And it's an experience that I think everyone should have. I'm glad I had it. Again, I had Dubai, Africa, 
and uh, Cuba on my all time greatest list. And I've been to Dubai. Now I've been to Cuba and I would definitely advise you to do both of those two. And I'm going to Africa next year, I pray, or even later this year once I accrue vacation again. Um, but again, money, 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 money. Your credit card is dead. Your credit card is dead. You won't be able to use that until you land back in Miami or wherever else you're going to land or outside of this country. Keep in mind, it's not a lot of Americans. You guys need to know that you can go. OK, it's almost I would guess personally, 95 percent Europeans, very few Americans. OK, very, very few Americans. So you need to know that you can go and I'm going to step you through how to get there in my next few videos. But thank you guys for watching. Um, this was an incredible adventure. It was definitely an adventure. That is the word for this and an experience and an incredible experience. I mean, it was surreal. Just the ride from the airport to my first Airbnb. I mean, it, it, I just got, I had goosebumps. I'm, I'm actually here. I'm in Cuba. Um, so, and, and I would advise you to go to, and it's easy. It is not difficult at all. You just need to know how to do it. That's all. And I'm going to step you through that in the next few videos. So again, thanks for watching. And if you ever get any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos. And of course, like it helps the YouTube algorithm. So travel guys and gals and be safe. So I hope you like this video. If you did, make sure you go down and hit subscribe. Definitely like it helps the YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm talking about? See what I'm saying? We have a YouTube channel, like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.